Gamers, welcome back to the Beyblade Burst official channel and to episode 6 of the On The Rise series. Thanks for tuning in, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. I'm Brendan and this is Steven. We're the Beyblade Geeks as some of you may know and we're your hosts for this series. Just like every other episode of this epic series, we have sick new products to show you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the latest product reviews and battle tests. After you see what we have for you in this episode, go ahead and swing by the previous episodes of On The Rise to check out other amazing products. You'll get to see the products that we introduced to you in action in real life and sometimes in the digital world of the Beyblade Burst app. We're big fans of the Beyblade Burst Rise animation as well, so we'll also preview some of the best battle scenes with you from time to time. Of course, also expect to hear the latest official Beyblade Burst news and announcements every episode. Alright Bladers, right before we show you some new Hypersphere goods, let's get you caught up and see how one of Dante's good friends are doing. You recognize this guy, right? It's Delta Zakaro, a member of the Risen 3 and one of the strongest Bladers around. You're probably quite familiar with his abilities and strength by now, but here's a little refresher. Him and his bay Devilos have some really unique abilities that have helped them win battle after battle. Between rounds, Delta can switch between the right spinning Venom Devilos or the left spinning Erase Devilos. On top of that, Devilos' performance tip can split apart, unleashing a smaller clone of the Devilos Bay to make it a 2 on 1 for the opponent. But even a powerful blader like him will sometimes suffer shattering defeats. Literally shattering. When you're aiming for the top spot in the blading world like Delta, you'll probably seek out strong opponents to prove your strength. Sometimes, those opponents just might be too strong. During a dramatic and action-packed battle against Arthur Peregrine, Delta tried to take advantage of Devilos' unique cloned ability, but the clone was swiftly taken down by Arthur and Prime Apocalypse. Slit right down the middle. Poor Devilos clone, it was just trying to help out. It didn't take much longer after that, but Delta's entire erased Devilos bay was, well, according to animation itself, erased. Devilos was completely destroyed and unusable, such a tragic end to an amazing bay. I know I'll be crying myself to sleep every night if that happened to me and my bay, but good thing Delta is a resilient blader. Delta was back up on his feet in no time and started designing Devilos' next evolution. After what seemed like weeks, Delta managed to evolve his bay into Master Devilos. Just like its predecessor, Master Devilos is unique and has a few tricks up its sleeve. Master Devilos retains the dual spinning ability, which is possible due to its reversible layer. It's so cool. Bet you bladers haven't seen anything like that before. By flipping Master Devilos' energy layer over, Delta can freely change his base rotation between battles, changing his properties. The awesomeness doesn't stop there. Every part below Master Devilos' energy layer was also redesigned. The Forge Disc and Performance Tip are essentially combined into one part. It looks insane. According to Taka, the spin power from Delta's perfect launches helped the Performance Tip contract, making Master Devilos harder to burst. Master Devilos can also enter a stamina saving mode once its spin weakens, helping it outlast its opponents. With all these new abilities, we're sure that Delta and Devilos will be stronger than ever. Who signed up to see Master Devilos in action? Can't just be me, right? Let's see what Master Devilos can do. So this battle is between Delta and Blitz, so we're gonna get to see Master Devilos in action. All right, let's check it out. Ready, set, three, two, two one. Let, let it rip. 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 Delta's launch form is so sick. That flip though. All right, Master Devils is in the stadium. It's moving pretty quickly there. Yeah, it looks like it's in its counterclockwise rotation. Oh, and the upper deck. These stadiums are so intense. Yes, looking good. But not quite good enough. Alright, what's happening here? I'm going in for attack. Alright. Ooh, hyper flux. Nice. Alright. Oh, it looks like Blint has something up his sleeve. He's not even phased. What the? He can't seriously. So much confidence. What's going on? Dark, Dark flux! Alright, so it's Hyperflux versus Dark Flux. Look at that explosion. Bam! Oh, the oh. bay's flying out of the stadium. And oh, you no. know what? We better just stop right there. No more spoilers. So, Bladers, make sure you stay tuned to this channel and check out the episodes of Beyblade Burst Rise. 
What did you bladers think of those battle scenes? Delta clearly did an amazing job at designing Master Devilos. Now that you guys have gotten a quick look at the Beyblade Burst Rise animation, let's check out the new Hypersphere products we mentioned. This is a new Hypersphere dual pack. Take a look at what we got. This pack comes with Fornius F5 and Master Devilos D5. Let's start off with Fornius F5. This is a right spinning defense type and the combination begins with the Fornius F5 energy layer. It comes with a D76 Forge Disc and a TH16 Performance Tip. This combination has a runtime of 5 and a drop in frequency of 1. Next up is Master Devilos D5. This Hypersphere top has a completely new design. So let's take a closer look. The Master Devilos D5 combination starts like many of the other Hypersphere tops. It consists of the Master Devilos D5 GT chip and energy layer base. It rotates right and is a balanced type. The interesting part is what comes next. Master Devilos D5 does not come with a separate forge disc. Take a look at this performance tip. This is TH28-F. As its name states, this is a fused part. The forge disc and performance tip are combined together to make a slick looking piece. The top of the performance tip has an intricate metal disc that is incorporated into its design. When you look at the bottom of the performance tip, you will see the familiar hypersphere design that will allow your top to climb those vertical walls and drop in for those attacks. We're going to battle with both of these hypersphere tops, but before we do that, let's see them in the Beyblade Burst app. First, let's scan in Master Devilos D5. Alright, here we go. Nice. Blinged out. I like the red color. Red and gold. And we got a battle to unlock the hypersphere top. Here we go, special attack! Next, let's scan in Fornius F5. Nice. Now we're in the Bay Locker. Let's check out Master Devils D5 with the TH28-F Hypersphere Performance Tip. It's aka called Generates H. Let's check out Fornius F5. And we have the D76 Forge Disc, aka Drake, and the TH16 Performance Tip, aka Orbital H. Alright, the final test. Let's see how these hypersphere tops do in a real life base stadium. First round. Three, two, one, let's go! Oh. Oh. oh! Wow! The upper attack was unreal. I really like how sturdy Master Devil's D5 is. Feels good. Alright, I'm gonna switch out Fornius F5 for Sword Valtric V5. 3, 2, 1, let's rip! Wow! An instant attack as soon as you fell down from the drop in deck. Ace Dragon D5 is up next. 3, 2, 1, let's rip! Oh. Master Devil's D5 is really powerful. Judgment Joker J5 is next. 3, 2, 1. Nice drop in. Oh, oh another burst. Sweet. Who is Master Devil's D5's next challenger? We have Royal Genesis G5. I have a good feeling about this. 3, 2, 1. Bursted Royal Genesis G5 instantly! Alright, I have Prime Apocalypse A5. Let's see if we can beat Master Devil's D5 since it's on a winning streak. 3, 2, 1, let's go! Oh! Master Devil's D5, unstoppable! Wow. What do you bladers think of Master Devil's D5? It's definitely a unique top, so grab it for yourself if you want something a little special. Alright, let's fill you in on the latest Beyblade Burst news. Hiro Morita, the creator of Beyblade Burst, sat for an exclusive interview detailing his experience illustrating the manga. The full interview is now available on the Beyblade Burst official channel, don't miss out! Beyblade Burst Rise blankets are available on Amazon, perfect for the chilly season. Go check them out, while you're there check out the pajamas too! Beyblade Burst Rise content is now available in the Beyblade Burst Rivals app. New Gamma Base, Bladers, and Avatars are here. 
compete in the Traverius Gamma Tournament and go head-to-head -head against Dante, Armin, Fumia, Vault, and Iker. Earn new Rise content, Gamma Base, Bladers, and Avatars through gameplay. Thanks for watching this episode of On The Rise. Make sure you tune in regularly to the Beyblade Burst official channel so you don't miss out on the newest episodes of Beyblade Burst Rise and the latest prog reviews. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out the official Beyblade Burst social media pages. See, See you, you later!